Businesses are moving away from traditional ink signatures and physical documents in favor of electronic signatures. Two major players in this field are DocuSign and PandaDoc. Let's compare these two platforms across different categories. Let's start off with features. PandaDoc offers a broader range of features compared to DocuSign. While DocuSign focuses primarily on providing a great signing experience, PandaDoc includes a native document editor, a content library, and post-signature contract tracking functionality. However, some advanced PandaDoc features are available only in more expensive plans, which might not fit smaller businesses. Ease of use. Both PandaDoc and DocuSign are relatively user-friendly speeding up document workflows. Some users have found certain aspects of PandaDoc, like formatting options, less intuitive, while DocuSign offers a smoother user experience. Security. Both platforms prioritize security when handling contracts with personal or confidential data. They are compliant with US, EU and global security standards, ensuring a secure environment for signing contracts. Customization. PandaDoc offers extensive customization options for proposals and sales contracts, allowing users to format text, set up personal branding, and create cover pages. DocuSign enables users to customize colors, logos, and buttons on documents, providing a personalized signing experience but with limited opportunities to customize contract content. Integrations PandaDoc integrates with various tools such as Slack, Monday.com, Zoom, Google Workspace, Microsoft Teams, and more. However, some users have reported integration issues and increased costs. DocuSign also provides multiple integrations including Salesforce and Oracle, but some are only available in the more expensive Business Pro plan. Device Accessibility Both platforms can be accessed on various devices including mobile. DocuSign offers a better mobile signing experience, while PandaDoc's mobile version is convenient but may require improvements for editing contracts. Now for the pricing. DocuSign's pricing starts from $10 per month for personal plans, $25 per user per month for standard plans, and $40 per user per month for business pro plans, which include more advanced features such as bulk send. PandaDoc's pricing includes a free plan for unlimited document uploads, a business plan at $49 per user per month, and an enterprise plan with customized pricing. Your choice depends on your specific needs and budget. You can go to both DocuSign and PandaDoc's websites to see what features are included with which plans. And based off this, you can pick a plan that works best for your business. In conclusion, when choosing between DocuSign and PandaDoc, consider your specific requirements, including whether you want to create and manage contracts or just sign them, which integrations are essential, and the types of documents you will be managing. Each platform has its strengths and weaknesses, and the best choice for you depends on your specific needs. If this comparison between DocuSign and PandaDoc was useful, please consider leaving a like on this video and subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.